Hello guys, this is Momo and today I would like to teach you how to uh, add or import your own and customize it uh, a pattern inside the Jelly uh, pattern library. As you know, the Jelly is a very, very helpful and handy uh, plugin it's inside Metrics Gold. I really like it. It helps me a lot and uh, it's really easy to do it. So let's get started. Uh, as you know, the uh, the, the Jelly command is, a, is uh, an advanced version of an existing command uh, inside the Rhino 5, Rhino 6, and Rhino 7, whose name is Hatch. Okay, if you if you wanna to fill or create a patterns of lines to fill a selected bounding curve, you just need to type Hatch. Okay, and select. Uh, curve and then press enter and as you can see you have you have a lot of curves here so you can control the pattern scale tree you can make it bigger you can choose different hatch patterns okay and by default you have a few patterns but if you want to if you want to add it in, uh, to uh, rhino hatch uh, command it's really easy you just need to go to um, uh, Rhino website additional hatch pattern to download and you download this zip file and then you need to extract this uh, folder inside this zip file you will find the hatch pattern on the line 1033.txt okay that is format is text and then you have to uh, change its format from te t text to PAT. That uh, stands for a pattern. Okay, so it's really easy. And then when you did it, you have to go to option, options, and then you go to your hatch, uh, hatch folder, hatch uh, adjustment. And then here you have import command, okay, import button, and then click, and then choose this PAT, and uh, suddenly uh, you will get a lot of uh, hatch uh, inside uh, your uh, hatch folder, okay? So it's really easy to add your, uh, to add file to hatch folder, okay? But the problem is in hatch command, we need a flat surface. We cannot do hatch. Uh, to this um, actually uh, curved and a degree three surface. Okay, if I wanted to do it, if I wanted to hatch, okay, so like curves, we will have, I will have something like this. Okay, it doesn't help me. Okay, so that's why the jelly works amazingly and I really like it. Okay, so how to add my own uh, my own hatch to Jelly library. It's really easy. First of all, I wanted to show you what is inside uh, the hatch pattern. If I double click on hatch pattern uh, uh, text file, you will uh, see a lot of a, po a lot of uh, numbers. Okay, that is numbers is angle, x start, y start, and uh, a lot of uh, information okay extra information to making the lines some patterns uh, has just uh, one line information some of them that is very big pattern you can see the start from here and finish here okay uh, this is a guide uh, this is the uh, actually the guideline of uh, uh, curves inside the pa inside pattern okay Perfect. So what I need to do is that I will find uh, which pattern uh, I want to use inside the inside gel in Jelly. Okay. So it's really easy. I just um, hatch. Use hatch. Okay. Just maybe click here. Hatch. And then I want to choose uh, this one. I think this one we don't have. Uh, maybe inside the jelly command I'm not sure let me check
no we don't have as you can see we don't have this okay we have this one that uh, touch each other but we don't have uh, the hexagon pattern the same as the diamond pattern that they have a space uh, between them okay as I can see no we don't have great so I want to add it cancel okay so hatch again okay so I want to uh, hexagon with course 0, 0 0.5 okay I want to add this one so the name is hexagon hexagon uh, with course 0 0.5 so it's really easy I just need to go here to my main and then F3 to find hexagon okay flower hexagon no flower hexagon no no Go up. Yeah. Down. Next. Yeah. This is uh, the information that we need to make the hexagon. Okay. So I just need to copy. Make a text, new text file. Okay notepad my notepad control v so i have this file okay file save as metrics gold library pattern i just delete this and then type hack the gun okay text I, I it doesn't matter okay now it doesn't matter okay i will save it with text format okay very good I don't need it cancel I don't need it okay I have to go to my documents metrics code uh, library pattern and then F2 uh, uh, press F2 to use the rename command and then change uh, delete the text format and change it to PAT you have a warning uh, rename warning but it doesn't matter done okay so it's really easy I go here I select my folder and uh, my surface click on jelly pattern bingo and we have it right select great so I can scale it for example 0 0.7 okay I want to read it no I don't want let's flow it or not great translation so it's very helpful move rotation if I want to rotate okay so it's really easy as you can see the pattern is rotating okay and then press enter and the good news is they are not hatch anymore they are curves and it's very very good because I can do anything that I want so split these split these by these splitting because we have a lot of curves that's it okay so it's very very helpful oh I didn't split with that one why because uh, actually they didn't split some areas because it uh, actually uh, it didn't uh, flow on surface because my rigid option is on so actually the curves is flat okay so if you if you don't want this you can turn off rigid so you can split much more easier okay I hope you like it and I hope uh, it helps you a lot uh, and thank you so much